have a heavy rain event in the city of Aransas Pass, we face a lot of challenges. One of those being we're a very flat. Our uh, highest elevation is 23 feet all the way down to sea level. So there's not a lot of natural flow to the water to start with. Uh, to impede it even further, we have our earthen berm, which has been designed to protect us from storm surge. Unfortunately, it holds water in. There's no natural outflows from the berm to get the water into the bays. So we have three pump stations that uh, we direct all of our water. We take the best advantage we can of the natural flow to those areas, but once it gets there, then we depend on several pumps to pump that water from behind the berm and put it into the bay. The purpose for dividing our town into different drainage areas is so that we avoid more flooding than we currently have. By splitting up the flow, it allows uh, water to get out faster and within the center part of the town we have a berm that takes longer for the water to get out. So by directing and diverting water out to the outside for the natural flows helps us avoid flooding areas within the center of town. By drainage area number one goes to a natural outflow out by the aquatic center down Johnson Street. It begins from Avenue A and it runs all the way down to the aquatic center. And then the northern and southern boundaries are the Johnson Avenue and it runs south to our border of the city limits with Ingleside. Drainage area number two runs to our pump station number three. It uh, runs from Avenue A south all the way to Euclid. The boundaries for that is Highland Avenue and Wheeler. And as, as it reaches the triangle, it comes down Harrison, down to Commercial, all the way down to Euclid. And that entire area encompasses the drainage for number two, which goes to uh, pump station number three. Drainage area number two comes to the pump stations for the reason that our natural berm impedes the water from getting out on its own. Uh, the pumps are there to make sure to pump the water outside the levee through the levee itself to drain the water from that side of town. <laughs> Avenue A is our high point. From there, east is where the, all the, the city water drains to. West of Avenue A, all that goes to McCampbell Sluice and that's all natural flow. Uh, the majority of the city, unfortunately, is on the east side of that, where, so it all drains towards our, our levee. Um, the pump stations are used to push that water out underneath that levee so we can get out into the bay um, on its own without having to go through uh, natural outflow since there's no way for it uh, to do so. Drainage area number three is another natural outflow. It runs from Avenue A down to 13th Street, from Wheeler all the way to Stapp. It runs down Cleveland Boulevard from the Triangle and it drains the entire north side into an open ditch that we call uh, King Ditch. That uh, goes underneath the railroad tracks and outflows straight into the bay. As soon as the water reaches a certain level, the, it has floats in every well, and when it reaches that mark, it s sends a signal to the pump to kick on automatically and push the water out. So staff does not have to be here manning the pumps. So if it starts raining in the middle of the night, they all kick on automatically. Staff starts coming in after 30 minutes of heavy rain just to check up and make sure that everything's functioning properly. But as you can see, the pumps run automatically on their own when it reaches a certain level. From time to time, if there is an electrical storm, there might be a trip on the electrical, but that's what we have pumps that run on fuel so that in case that does happen we have a backup. Pump station number one runs on fuel and that one is the only one that has to be kicked on manually. Uh, we're looking at replacing that pump station since it's one of the oldest ones we have and upgrading it so that it has a flow system that kicks on automatically. We are also looking uh, currently to try to put our systems on a SCADA that we can manage through laptops and uh, iPads and phones so we can manage from anywhere we are.
Drainage area number four uh, encompasses the area from Wheeler, from 13th Street East, over following the triangle off of Cleveland, out towards Stapp. That whole area drains to pump station number one on Maddox. Once again, the pump there is used to push water underneath the levee out to the bay. And this is done so because there's no natural outflow because of the impedance of flow through the levee. Drainage area number five is our center point. Uh, it's from the center of the triangle down all the way good night past HEB to the natural berm. Once again, there's a pump station there that pushes the water underneath the levee to get it out to the bay so that uh, water can get out on its own. We had a hurricane in this area in 1916 followed by another one in 1919. After those two disasters, the city fathers began the process of building this levee that goes around a good portion of our city. Uh, that was nearly a hundred years ago. And during that hundred years, there's been a lot more development. About six years ago, the city really started looking hard at the situation and how to prevent the interior flooding that's caused by heavy rains that our levee holds. Along that same time, FEMA started drawing new maps. They came and looked at our levee and they did decertify it. It's no longer considered a levee. It is, we call it our earthen berm. Unfortunately, about three quarters of our city, all the water drains to the inside of our berm, which acts as a giant bowl. The only way to get the rainwater out is through the pumps, and sometimes the water just falls from the sky quicker than the pumps can remove it from that bowl. You definitely have to look at where you live, the conditions there. Uh, check with your insurance agent. Make sure that you have sufficient insurance coverage for any possible disaster because the key to recovery is many times that insurance to help you rebuild. Uh, many times there's programs that if you are in a low-line area that you may be able to raise your residence. If you're thinking about building something new, look at the codes and ordinances. We need to lift up and make sure we're above that danger zone. One thing citizens can do to help us all out is make sure that there's no trash or obstructions over any drains, gutters, uh, anything like that. Uh, please don't open your private sewer uh, clean out to try to drain water from your area because what will happen, that will go down the sewer system and may actually come up in somebody else's home. <laughs>